It's a dark night to an old soul. You, you, you see the beacon of light through that black hole? Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Let's go. All right, so Taurus and Cancer. So this has something to do with healing, right? So this could be like a matriarch energy. Sun and Cancer is significant. This could be your family, like your finances. You having to reevaluate how you approach something, okay? So for some of you, this is reg like regarding you staying centered here. Most definitely, this is about family. We got cusp energy here. So there's a new beginning. You may be trying to reinvent. This could be re uh, like relocation as well. Okay, so... Some of you, you're splitting some assets here, okay? Or you may be going into litigation. People could be speculating about this. You can show me what it is I need to see. This has something to do with you letting go. The person of environment. You may have been in some form of suspension. You can show me what it is I need to see. So, we're talking about a soul tie, a soul mate, a soul contract, okay? It took you courage. It took you courage to release someone or maybe even to heal. So for some of you, this transformation happened in the past. You can show me. Some of you, you are reevaluating yeah, re how to transfer something or transform something. This could have something to do with the way you think. The negotiations are relevant here. So I feel like somebody uh, eclipsed out somebody that was close to them, somebody that they communicated with. Okay. Uh, this could be like the ending of a soul tie, soul contract, a soulmate connection. So... I feel like you're looking for joy, okay? Joy could be significant. Maybe somebody is going through some sort of ascension or descension. Take it how it resonates. So, this is about the way you think. A high rise could be significant. You may be reevaluating re -evaluating where you want to stay, okay? So, you may have a, had like an eye-opening moment or experience surrounding the contract. Either show me what it is I need to see. All right, um, <clears throat> Moon and Pisces. So something took place in the dream state or in the dream realm. Uh, this could have been at night. Maybe you were lying awake. Either show me what it is I need to see. So this, this regards, regards some sort of transformation. You may be worried about how you look to others or how things appear when it comes down to do with your finances. So for some of you, this is like a legal binding contract here. But this could also be like you restoring something. This has something to do with travel. Sun and Sagittarius is significant. So you were at a crossroads. This could be like a child's mother or involving your child's mother. A mother figure. Somebody did not want you to see things clearly. This is about negotiations, okay? This person did not want to be released. Um, I feel like either you or whoever this is, they don't think outside the box here. So, yeah, this has something to do with you communicating an ending. Now, for some of you, unfortunately, this is a soul tie. This is something that, this is a legality here, okay? So, you felt trapped in a situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have third house, like Capricorn in third house. But this is something that you communicated and you walked away. You completed something. For some of you, this is something that you need to complete. Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah. So this is uh, about the way you approach your finances. Somebody may want to come towards you or you want to come towards someone in regards to a collaboration. You may not be able to see things clearly about this person. For someone, though, somebody's showing their true intentions. Something could have been revealed that was, in, you know, a done in secret. People could be gossiping about that. This could have something to do with someone that you're in a contract with. For some of you, you are this child's mother or it is in regards to a child's mother. This could be like a negative way somebody responded to a message or something that they may have seen on social media. You can show me what it is I need to see. Sixth house. You can have Pisces in the sixth house, Aquarius. All right, so... This is not. This is about not knowing the ledge when it comes down to do with the partnership. Aquarius in the seventh house, Pisces, Sag 
is significant as well. So this is a tower. Somebody needs to change the way they think and or the way they approach their finances and or partnerships. So we have Sag here. So we're definitely picking up on uh, cusp energy. It's a lot of Sagittarius. So for some of you, you're on the up and up. Uh, others of you, somebody may be questioning something that you did, something that you shared, or something that was presented, like some sort of falsehood. Sagittarius, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. Everything's falling on Aquarius. Something could have took place in Aquarius season, okay, where you came to the end of the road or the end of a contract. You could have, you may need to check your 12th house placements, okay? So, a lot of passion here and or a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. You may lay awake at night. Somebody could be dreaming of you. Somebody wants to make a dream come true and it's like weighing heavy on them. Leo. Capricorn. So you could be goal oriented. This is about your creativity or lack thereof. I feel like somebody re like refused or they're going to in the future to take accountability and or responsibility for some energy they show up in. You can show me what it is I need to see. Um, it was all a dream. May have been something that was was said. Or somebody may feel like you're delusional here. So this is someone that does not know the ledge. They have 180 degree because they're still growing. They do a lot in secret or this is you. Eclipse and Aries, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay. So this is surrounding a contract that may be binding in some kind of way. Um, there could be the people doing things in secret here. Uh, for some of you, you may have released a negative energy. This could be like a soul tie, 10, 20 years. For some of you, this is 12 years in the making. So this has something to do with a foundation and or institution. Yeah, it's like rebuilding something. For some of you, it has something to do with real estate. You could be a private investor or you may be looking for one. Aries, why is this here? Moon Aries is relevant. Okay, so this is about an institution. Friends, you may, have be, you may be moving away from friends or people-pleasing type of energy or you're being guided to do so. What's at the bottom here? So we have Scorpionic energy. Scorpio in the eighth house. Okay, or you could just be a Scorpio or dealing with one. But for those of you that are not, this is about transformation. This is about you pursuing your passion. You could be dealing with the same, the same sign or people are speculating. Like, is something true? So I feel like you took your personal power back when you release someone, okay? This may have been like legally binding or some lit like a litigation is involved in this. Yeah. So we have a lot of doubles of the same sign, okay? So even though this person may be the same sign as you, this is like a opposites attract to learn lessons. So this is about your vision or lack thereof. You know, people may be like cloud chasing. They may be in your environment to pull on your energy here or uh, to see what you're doing. You know, take your ideas, uh, you know, your creative endeavors or intellectual property. Take it how it resonates. But this is like a group effort. I feel like there's some sort of change that's undergoing here and balance is being restored. This could be something that's being communicated by me or someone that may like reach out and like talk to you. For some of you, this is some, this is like an institution. Okay. Somebody may be fearful of a litigation. This could be like a sibling, somebody, somebody in your environment and or work community. I feel like this is about long-term thinking. This is about you pursuing your, your passion. Like be mindful because I feel like people want to collaborate with you uh, that are very low vibrational. Okay, so my advice is do not mix business with pleasure. For those of you that are interested in part two, a link for that will be in the description box below, as well as a link for part three. Deuces. Down, why is this here? So somebody feels trapped in their thoughts. This person may not be able to communicate clearly. This is someone that does not know how to express themselves. I feel like they run from responsibility. Either show me what it is 